this tutorial, we're going to show you how to configure users, permissions, and ACLs in FreeNAS. ACL stands for Access Control List, specifically for Windows SMB shares. This video assumes you already have pools configured. To learn how to configure a pool, watch our ZFS Pools Overview video. We'll go ahead and set up a FreeNAS user account, and then we'll configure specific permissions to use with our dataset and share. I'll be creating a new user called Office User and creating a new primary group called Office Group. I'll be configuring permissions to this user and group later, but be sure to substitute your own users and groups as needed. Next, click Groups under the left side menu under Accounts. Click Add. You can leave the group ID as is. It will be unique to this group. Give it a name. I'll call it Office Group. sudo is a root command. Leave this unchecked to avoid giving root access to the system to the group. Click Save when done. Now go to Accounts, Users, and then Add a User. Fill in the required fields for full name. I'll make it Office User. Give the user a name. I'll name this Office User. Now give it a password. For primary group, choose the group you created earlier from the drop down list. You can also check New Primary Group, and it will create a group along with the user with the same name. Once you've done this, Click Save. Permissions will be used for non SMB or generic datasets, so that means any dataset using AFP, NFS, or iSCSI shares. SMB datasets will utilize ACLs, which we'll talk about more later. If you haven't already, go ahead and create a generic share type dataset by clicking the three dots on your pool and Add Dataset. I'll call this Generic Set and then click Save. From the Pools window, Open the Permissions options by clicking the three dots on the right of your target dataset, and then Edit Permissions. You can set the owner to the user and group you created earlier, which was Office User and Office Group. On the right side under Access, this is where you set the read and write permissions. Go ahead and check Write to give editing permissions when you assign this group to the dataset. Next, check Apply Permissions Recursively if you want to set these permissions to all directories and files that are currently in the dataset. Check Traverse to apply permissions to any child datasets or datasets within the dataset. Click Save when you're done. Next, we'll talk about ACLs, or Access Control List. ACL is a security feature used in Microsoft Windows, which designates access control entrees for users and administrators on the system. FreeNAS interacts with it through the SMB protocol. Note that the Edit ACL feature was recently introduced in FreeNAS 11.3. If you haven't already, Go ahead and create an SMB dataset by clicking the three dots on your pool and then Add Dataset. I'll call this SMB Set. Choose SMB under the share type and click Save. Go ahead and create a share for this SMB dataset as well by going to Sharing, Windows Shares, then Add. Browse to the path of your SMB dataset. You'll notice it says ACL next to the folder because you set the share type as SMB earlier. I'll call this SMB Share, and then click Save. It will ask you to enable service for the SMB protocol. From the SMB window, open the Share options by clicking the three dots on the right and Edit ACL. On the left side, leave Root and Wheel as the original owners of the dataset. To give another user ownership permissions, click Add ACL Item, then choose User for the Who field and Office User for the User field. You may copy the same settings as the ACL items above. Do the same for the group and choose Office Group for the group field. These settings on the right allow you to configure the dataset's access control list according to your network and security needs. Note that when we set the share type to SMB earlier, the ACL options will default to that specific configuration, which is shown here. Refer to the FreeNAS documentation for configuration recommendations for ACLs. Now click Save when that is done. Now you have properly set up permission and ACLs for your datasets. Repeat the process above each time you need to give a user specific permissions to access a shared dataset on your network. To learn how to access a share on Windows with a specified user, check out our SMB Shares video. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. Visit ixsystems.com to learn more about FreeNAS, TrueNAS, and IX Systems. Be sure to check out our other tutorial videos on our YouTube channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe. FreeNAS is the open source community edition of the iX Systems TrueNAS product family. 
a comprehensive line of powerful unified storage products for organizations of all sizes. With its flash-based architecture, powerful ZFS file system, and award-winning support, TrueNAS Systems provides secure, scalable, and flexible high-performance storage for virtually any application and budget. To learn more about the TrueNAS product family from iX Systems, visit us on the web at ixsystems.com.